Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayla Mitchell, also known as Natural Rain. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and click the notification bell so you don't miss my new uploads. So today, I'm going to be trimming my hair because it is, honestly, it it's overdue, but I don't really wanna talk about that. Let's not talk about how I waited too long to trim my hair. Let's talk about how I'm gonna do it today, how I'm gonna make sure that happens. And so I was thinking while I trim my hair, I could tell you guys how I know it's time for me to trim my hair and maybe it'll help you guys so you know, cause I get a lot of questions like, how do you know when to trim? You're trimming, but when do I trim? You know, the thing with split ends is gonna continue to split up your hair shaft and then, I mean, I don't wanna say it, I don't wanna be the bearer of bad news, but you could end up bald. People all over the world are suffering from chronic baldness from not trimming their hair on time. I just made that up, but moving on. So my hair is in a completely stretched out state and I actually filmed this because I didn't use heat to get this stretch, which means I'm going to be trimming my hair on non blown out hair technically, but this is a blowout because my hair stretched. I always like to trim my hair on stretched hair. If you guys want to see the video in which I did a heatless blowout, I will have it linked up there, but uh, <laughs> let's get into it. So I'm going to section my hair. I have two distinct layers in my hair, so there's this one and then there's this one and as you can see this one is longer than this one and i usually try to make sure that i keep that in mind because we're not trying to lose our shape for a trim we're trying to keep the shape so i'm just gonna section that on both sides really and just woof this bad boy on top of my head so i'm gonna also split this and take a hair clip and just clip it. And then this is the side I'm actually going to be working with. I'm going to split this some more because I like to work in the smaller sections because I feel like I get a more accurate trim, especially since my hair isn't straight or anything like that. Mind you, me trimming my hair, this is for, you know, the people who don't straighten their hair a lot. It's not going to be the perfect trim. It's not gonna be that, but it is going to make sure that your hair can continue to grow and be healthy. So I wear my hair in wash and goes right now, or a lot, it's not just right now, but in general, I wear my hair in a lot of wash and goes. I wanna make sure that my hair is healthy so that my curls really shine through. If you're the person who wears their hair straight all the time, I just recommend trimming it when it's straight and calling it, you know, if you want that evenness and do it when it's straight. I don't straighten my hair like that. It's almost been two years. Ah, it's almost been two years, but moving on. So my first sign is, and I wrote these down, so if I'm looking down, you know what's up. My first sign is your hair is more tangled than normal. And this honestly is like my number one sign. When my hair is just so freaking tangled, you know, you know how much your hair normally tangles versus how much your hair tangles when it's time for a trim. I'm talking about it is just hard to work product through even when you're adding a whole bunch of product it is not detangling like it's just tangled that's the best way to explain it that is my number one sign that i know that i need to trim in soon so i'm gonna be taking these shears these are from walmart you guys have seen me use these before in my last trim videos the trim video that didn't come with the tips that one um so i'm just gonna be using that and i always brush it out so for me and the main reason i'm trimming my hair today is because my hair has been getting more tangled than normal that is a dead giveaway because i don't have the world's most tangly hair it gets tangled as normal you have natural hair whatever but it shouldn't be that freaking tangled so i'm just gonna snip snip by the way, this is not a tutorial because I already have a tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, you know what to do. Click up there to my left. To my left, your right. So my second sign that it's time for a trim is that my products aren't working the same way. I'm not talking about you decided to try a new product 
and your hair just doesn't like it. I'm talking about this is a oldie but goodie, a product you always run back to, a product you know your hair likes. But all of a sudden, it ain't working the way it used to. Like your hair doesn't like the products. A lot of people give up. They're like, okay, well my hair just got too used to this product and it doesn't work anymore. I'm not saying that ain't the case for you, but I am saying, have you got a trim recently? Because that really could be the issue. Um, a lot of times when it's time for me to trim, products I love won't even work. And the reason they won't work is because my hair is dry. It is dry. Towards the ends, it is dry. When was the last time I had a trim? I really couldn't let you know. So before you go throwing away products, I recommend just seeing if it could possibly, maybe, I don't know, be time for you to trim your hair. Try to make sure you check off all the boxes before you go throwing away products you actually love and that costs a lot of money. Looky there, you see that? It looks good, you look good. Y'all, I never feel like trimming my hair just because it seems like it's always time for me to trim my hair. When I got the most length popping, length just showing out, and now all of a sudden, you mean I gotta cut the inches I work so hard for? I have the toughest time, but I also understand that health over length. I preach it, I must do it. That is just that on that. Okay, so another sign that it is time to trim your ends is your ends are starting to get see-through. Now, I think when you get to the point that your ends are getting see-through, it's really, really time for you to trim. So what you don't want to happen is that your hair is see-through from like here to here. Cause you know what that means, right? You have to trim. All of that has gotta go, right? So if you start to see that your hair is getting see-through towards the ends, like mine are, and it's barely, it's barely a thing. But that's when I like to trim my hair so I can stop my hair from splitting all the way up. So you see that, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's getting a little see-through. I'd rather clip it here than to clip it here because I waited so long to trim my hair and it split all the way up and now the whole freaking thing is see-through. That's, that's, that's how you become bald. I hate to say it, but that's it. That is how it happens. So my number four tip is that your ends start to feel rough. So if you are trimming your hair, or not trimming your hair, but if it's a normal day, you're styling your hair, you're running your fingers through your hair, and at a certain point, it don't feel the same no more. Like it's ragged, jagged, dry. That's where you need to clip. The other thing, you know, and this kind of falls into the same category, if you are taking a brush or a comb and there is a lot of tension towards the ends, that's another sign that it may be time for a trim. I'm not talking about the normal I got type four hair tension, that's different. I'm talking about the type of tension that is just like resistance. No matter what you do, no matter what products you use, no matter how you stretch your hair, it just ain't happening that means it's time for a trim. That is another indicator that girl, you need to let that hair go so you could let it grow. And I really like to be thorough just because who got time to be having to trim their hair all the time? I only trim my hair maybe about um, once every five to six months. So when I do trim, I have to make it count, you feel me? trimmed yes but I'm just gonna go over it because you know I have certain layers that I really like to show and just to make sure that my hair is even I will go over it just in a bigger section and just trim to make sure everything is where it should be is is decently even as it can be if that makes sense so I'm just taking bigger sections and just trimming
and just like that your girl is done trimming this took me about 30 minutes give or take now don't get discouraged if it takes you longer but i've been doing this for a while yeah a pretty decent amount of time so i'm really i'm quick with it i know it needs to be clipped and i just take your time though you don't want to trim too much because you're rushing take your time but when you get more into the rhythm of things you can go faster it'll come naturally don't speed race this whole thing i really hope you guys found this helpful this video helpful um because this is what i wish i would have known when i started trimming my hair i wish somebody would have told me that i wish i would have found that information um in order to trim my hair in the first place and then to know how much to trim when to trim all that jazz so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye y'all